What's up guys? Serong145 here, bringing you episode 5 of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green, the Nuzlocke Run. In the last episode, we took down Brock and went through all of Route 3 and caught a new member of the team, a Nidoran female named Strudler. Um, I did not train her up off camera as you can clearly see because I plan to do that later. Though I didn't want this particular Pokemon, I'm still going to use her. Now, we head into Mount Moon, and the first Pokemon I am praying to run into is Zubat. Why? Because Zubat is freaking awesome. I remember my Zubat. Hello, this is your Lord and Master. No! Catch it! Catch it! No! Now you see how I feel. It is. You ruined my introduction. Who cares? I have to catch a freaking Geodude! No one cares about you! Sweet bird of darkness, I hate you! I know you're laughing at me right now! <clears throat> anyway, this is your lord and master, Adrian Banker in attendance. And by the way, I have a few things to say about the introduction. You sound a bit too, like, heavy. It really doesn't match how I see you, because I've known you for years. It creeps me out. I know, I know. Secondly, as if that is not all it is packed up to be. Nigga, you don't even play Pokemon! You wouldn't know! Shut up! Nigga, what? Anyway, moving on. And secondly, what was that thing you just did? What kind of name is Mount Moon? And secondly, Brock is a pushover. Alright, move on. Well, Brock was a pushover. Geodude! This shit- I mean, no rock Pokemon! <laughs> <laughs> Found in fields and mountains. Mistaking them for boulders, people often step or trip on them. Or dig them, or drill their faces in with bulldozers. But I don't care about that, because it's a freaking Geodude! What? You have a nickname to the Geodude? Yeah. Yes! Oh, okay, something, something. You can name him Ham. Entity? You can name him Ham. Name him ooh, 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 I got it, I got it. What, name him Ham. I'm gonna name her Trolling. No, no. What? What do I nickname her then? I, I got the perfect name for him. Name. Make it quick. Alright. Dodoria. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, name her Ham. With a dot in between each and every one. No, it has to be trolling. Because this is exactly what she's doing. She is collaborating with Sweet Bear of Darkness to troll me. You do know what hand means, right? Shut up! We ain't talking about turkey. TM09, it contains Bullet Seed. If you pick Bulbasaur as your starter Pokemon, I actually do recommend you teach it to him. Oh, son of a Goomba! Why a Goomba specifically? I mean, it's the same level, um, Twilight got to where he died. Huh. Ugh. Oh, too bad. And now, I don't even want the Mankey. The moment I get out of here and get on the Route 4, I want to catch Sandshrew. You know he's trolling. I just had to say it. Now I have a full team of six. A freaking Geodude that trolled the shysty out of me. Shysty. I'm going to take whatever this is. Really? <laughs> hey, look, it's Larkin! <laughs> if I would have caught a boy Zubat, I would have nicknamed him Bam from Metal Gear Solid 2, The Sons of Liberty. And I would have nicknamed him something not gay. <laughs> You're just hating on Bam. You're just hating on how awesome he is. You're just mad because I'm styling him. I got like eight crosses on him, man. What? But you're not religious, so that makes you a hypocrite. I am religious. I just don't shove it in people's faces. Hungry, hungry hypocrite. <laughs> I hate this so much. It's called Death Mountain because you will die. Okay, the other Pokemon you can find in this cave, aside from Zubat and Geodude, are the very rare Clefairy and the rare Paris. Which is why I buy Repel, so I can make sure I get the Pokemon I want. Not now, not later. I don't think I can buy Repels at this point in the game. You should be able to. Remember that guy in, in um, Viridian T? Huh. Shit. You actually yeah. can get Repels. I mean, not Viridian Yeah, but, but, Z but Zubat and Geodudes are quite common, which is why I was anticipating the Zubat. Cop. Nice. Well, can't you have been defeated? You know, I might actually talk less in this one. Why? I don't know why. I used up everything I was really going to say in the last one. 
That makes you pathetic. Your face is pathetic. And weak. It's not to a slim gym. Oh yeah. I'm getting out of here. Wait, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I calm down. Oh wait, you were talking about the about the, the troll. No troll. She. Welcome to the box. The box, the box, the box. So she you are not going in the hero's box. No, not going down like that. So she trolling? I didn't know those things. Now get in there. I didn't even know those things could have girls. This is the hero's box. Box four. Thirty-six faces. Reserved only for those who have fallen in battle. For honor. For the Nuzlocke run. For glory. Thank you. For For pan pancakes. Okay. Awesome pancakes. Hell yeah. Like and now I get nothing but Suvax. This is freaking lame. I hate being trolled. I truly do. Um, Beware. Zubat is a bloodsucker. But I had to run into Geodude for... I hate you. And Geodude is a hard... Never mind. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. You're waiting for friends... You're, you're, you're just a protagonist. You're just a victim in a horror movie just waiting to happen. She is wanting it. You see that? That skirt is lifted slightly up. She wants it. You know she wants it. She's just asking for Would you put your feet off of me? Freaking 10 year old horse. This is what happens when you let your kid roam off, roam off at 10 years old. They become whores. I mean, look at Jesse. What happened to James, man? Well, his parents didn't pay enough attention to him as a kid and they should have hugged him more. Anyway. Well he or, well he ran out on on an arranged marriage with some chick that looked like Jesse, whose name just happens to be Jezebel. <laughs> Jezebel. So wait, so wait, so wait. Oh Caitlin, okay, well, guess what her name is right here? Cochran. Iris. Cochran. Iris. Cochran. Never mind. I disco care. disco good, good. But seriously, yeah, oh, wait, that nigga was supposed to be married? He was. He's avoiding her though. Oh my god, he's gay. She's a bitch! Oh god. Oh my god, he's gay. Oh god. Oh why? I don't like why? that. I don't like the chick either. Has she ever had a speaking line? She's had plenty! I wanna see her. No, you don't! Believe me, there's no bitch in this world I can handle. You just said can handle. No, oh, I said can. You just couldn't get the T. Well you maybe you should pronounce the T's. Fine then. There's no bitch in this world I can't handle. Except for your mother. Not you and not you. And not you who was listening to this unless you're somebody I don't like. Then again. Just shut your mouth right now! Isn't that that nerdy doctor that tried to touch you earlier? What? No. This is a complete. So you admit he tried to touch you. But that's. You never said he didn't try to touch you. Well, if he didn't. Oh my god, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's dead, that's not funny. Pixelations! He snuck in everywhere. What? Don't sneak up on me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you see, you see? He's the one who walked up to me! Super nerd Jovan. Oh my god, and then he I has, think it's pronounced Jovan. And then, Jovan. He has, then he has a gay ass Hold on. That pose he did, he's holding his glasses. Oh my god, Michael Jackson, the pixel incarnate. And Tron just did that thing where he fixes his glasses. Only he didn't do the cool version that you usually see in most anime. Yeah, but your glasses weren't far enough down for that to be cool. Are you going to Chuck anytime soon? No, are you going to be cool anytime soon? My last name is Cooley. Chuck up! <laughs> you mad, bro? You can go to hell, man. No, there's this girl at my school. Hey, wait. Yeah, there's this girl I know. Like I said, I just want to slap her repeatedly over the face. Ah, uh, Serene Grace! Ah! Get it has bitch. a docile nature too. And you people see why see the problem with CJ now, don't you? There is no problem. He's a douche! Dude, douche. this took a people would have been awesome. I already called him Yandavitz. Bye, Michael Jackson. What's that name supposed to mean? It's the place where Kami first crashed down in Dragon Ball Z. Oh. Interesting. Wow, lots of trivia there. Now it's there, my friend. Well he is the Dragon Ball Z expert of our group. I know a lot about Dragon Ball Z, just probably not as much as him. Probably. You don't know as much as him. Shut your mouth! Paul, oh, the only thing you know about is rape, pillage, and violence. Your mother has prayers! 
and random comments that don't mean anything. And then, oh, I, I never said it, but in today's episode, yes, I'm saying that ten minutes later, not that anyone cares, we're gonna go all the way through Mount Moon. Yeah, I'm going all the way with this girl. No, you're not. She probably won't. Besides, you're under the age of consent. You're 16. You're not 17 yet. So what? They have a freaking show dedicated to that's cool. A show dedicated to what? Oh my oh, god! O M G! What show is that? No, 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 never mind. You will tell me. The guy's name, all right? Sure, you did. Deadly is the word. That's about people fighting and doing epic things. What does that have to do with? Then how come you never watch it? No, I'm, I'm mad about that show. Because I don't watch TV anymore. The Japanese people in that show always get ripped. Ninja lost to the Spartan. Yakuza lost to the mob. Okay. Because the mob is more organized than the Yakuza is. I mean, granted, the mob had some better weapons. I mean, nunchuck, nunchucks versus um, uh, nunchucks versus a bat. It's pretty obvious which one wins. Because quite honestly, with nunchucks, you have all that you know maneuvering and crap, and you get the same basic effect by just swinging a baseball bat once. And with nunchucks, nunchucks, I'm I almost call them nunchakus. Anywhere, anywhere. Anyway, anyway, with nunchucks, um, you can swing the bat towards the nunchucks and get them caught onto the um baseball bat, getting them completely stuck and leaving your opponent defenseless. Then you beat them senseless with the bat and the nunchucks. The advantage is where? Nowhere. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Who is in a half shell? Turtle power. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. Hi, I'm excavating excav excav for fossils here under Mount Moon. Yeah, Sometimes, like, Brock Computer Jim lends me a hand. Yeah, but I wonder which hand, right or left. He's also excavating the little boy. What, what is with you? What, claiming that everyone on this game is a pedophile? Yes! Either that or a whore? Yes! Hey, oh my god, and he's bawling. That's the worst type of pedophile. Just avoid her, just avoid her. You don't want whatever she has. Oh god. Whoa! It's way bigger in here than I thought! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> this game must love me. They just keep proving me right. <laughs> Miriam! <laughs> That's not funny! <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Booyah, mother! My go! My go! Oh, no, no, wait, it's okay, Silver. Hey, you don't know me like that. I like that. to see your face anymore. You can hit the weak all you want to. Get out of my face. It's not very effective. Hungry, hungry, hypocrite servers mad at me because I'm a hypocrite. Yeah, it's really big. I'll be considering your B, I wonder. I'll probably do it in the middle too. Ow. I got money now too. You ain't got enough money. Get me. Get me. I know I don't have enough, a lot of money. If I had enough money, I'd have Mystery Dungeon exposed to the sky by now. He's broke. No, oh, I lost it. Yeah. You can easily find it. I mean, it's right. How do you get out of here? It's so big, I may get lost. I'm leaving now! <laughs> She's not concerned with getting out. She's just concerned with getting it in. Okay, what else is... What, what else do I need to remember about this one? Another trainer who probably has nothing but Radita since he's a youngster. Are you using TAS again? Dude, you're trying? playing a 10-year-old. You have no right to talk about anyone. What? You're playing a 10-year-old kid. You have no right to call anyone a youngster. This is what he is, a youngster! Youngster Josh. Who comes up with these names? People. Um, stupid people. Oh! Avion's almost level 18. It's almost time to, for him to evolve. Yeah, evolve to what? A bigger, stupider bird? His name is Pidgeotto, and you will not dare insult the Pidgey family. Hey, that's kind of like my teacher, Coach Pigeon. I call him Pidgeotto, Coach Pigeon, Coach whatever I can, because I can never remember his name. A lot of people call him Coach P, and I don't know why I don't just follow suit. Kill you. Wow, more rats. I haven't seen this many rats since I've house I lived in. I really shouldn't be in here. You were just a spiteful douche. And I had to kill them all. Oh, brother well, didn't do jack shit. Yes, I am impressed that you're a rat and you're gonna get rid But if you don't mind. Then let's pass the abilities. Actually, I'm actually quite a bit. Think about it. Yeah. 
That song is a lie. Damn you, Bowling for Soup, or 69 over 4, or Crush for you, whoever made that freaking song. Bowling for Soup made endless possibilities. Ah, so I had it right. Yeah, it was smart. Shut up, Bruno. And I just skipped something very important. I'm the only person in this room without glasses. I skipped a fight with a Team Rocket grunt and a chance to get a star piece. You're also the only person in this room with a size 11 shoe. Shut up. My feet are not that big. You I'm just a half, Kaylin. Big feet! What's up? Yeah, well guess what? Can you imagine how painful it is to get kicked in the face with a size 11 shoe? You know how hard it is to get your foot inside a size 10 shoe with a level <laughs> I'm going back to training. Shut up. Amazing! He looks even gayer! You slept like a girl! <laughs> How does a man slept? Oh yeah, that's right. The, the backhand. <laughs> that too. But your slap was pretty damn weak. I came all the way down here to show off to girls. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay. Well, there are a lot of girls. But Ron keeps stealing them. Freaking hog. <laughs> How can you say that? <laughs> hey, all the girls just walk right up to you. Uh, freaking posing with their freaking... This is CM46. It contains Steve. Um, I'm not gonna teach that to anyone right now, since it won't help. A move called Thief? Yeah. Yeah, we can see that game. SHUT UP! I'm okay, Bugsy. Now's your time to die. Come on. Hate. Hey, you gotta give me some. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I'm just gonna talk to you. We're pulling a job here! Get lost, kid! A big job! Damn it! Six and dirty! Did not expect that! Well, at least Team Rocket guys are so good. Shit! Talking mushrooms. I did not mean to use bubble, I meant to use water gun. No! No super potion! God damn it! You humans are so weak! You're a human too, douche. You are nothing to me. It was like you turn to get out of my house. What? What? Critical hit. Critical hit. Oh. KO! You got hit with a critical hit. You turn. Yes. Did, you, did, did Sally faint? I don't know. You tell me. You yeah. once were a bee god, but now you will be god. Headbutt to the face. KO. Oh god! I want to stop looking for that. Are you ever quiet? Is your face ever cute? It is right now. No, plus you're a dude. What does that mean? Dudes can't be cute. If they are cute, they're gay. Well, 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 one, well, this, well this is well, how it works, I mean. If girls think a guy is cute and he gets all the girls, does it really matter? Yeah, but no cute guy I know gets all the girls. He usually gets all the boys. And well, but it works like, um, I think you're, you're a not a woman, woman, you're not a woman unless you're pretty. And a man is not a man unless he's ugly. So exactly. So he really hurt. So CJ, you, man, you are manly. You <laughs> <laughs> dirty bastard. Owns you. Well, that's kind of odd considering most of the people who have ever seen us together say we look a lot alike. Bro, <laughs> you are. And I want to bet. Remember that time you came to my church? I came to church. Yes, you have been to my church. I'm trying to get you to go over there. And you're not gonna get me inside of a church. I don't even know how you got me inside of a church. I have nothing against religion, it's just. Are you? I'm not. Well, you're an atheist, so. Yeah. Am I the only person here with solid religious beliefs? I, be I believe in God, but I'm not gonna waste my time at church when I know I don't have to. There is nothing inside of the Bible in any context that says you must go to church. If you want to go to heaven, well, most cool story, bro. No, die. Well, something we've been recently taught was that the church is inside of all of us. Exactly. So I don't have to go. We are the church, essentially. The church is not just the building. Good. Then I have to go inside that building. You're only building up my argument here. Do you understand that? I'm not trying to, you know, refute your argument. I'm just saying, the church is inside of us all. Like you care. You're the biggest hypocrite to our religion! Hey, and you look, can't say you're not! Look, I'm not gonna sit here and call myself a hypocrite, because while I do have lots and lots and lots of negative points, so many I can't really go into specifics right now because the video can only be so long, but I do have my good points Actually, too. my videos can be... they have no time limit anymore. 
Oh, okay. Okay, so first off... Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Why would you tell... Why? Why tell him that? It doesn't matter. He's not gonna... He's not gonna be able to finish it. Oh, look, Paris! Yeah, on this floor right here, this is where it's most common. So Why is that thing so ugly? It's most... E it's easiest to run into Paris and Clark Barry. Why is that thing so ugly? It's a mushroom! It's a fungus! What do you think? Wait, it was a fungus? I thought it was a crab. No, this thing's a... Like a... Some type of bug. See? Well, technically a crab isn't a bug. Wait, what is a crab? Crab's a, a crab is a crustacean. Wait, a crustacean? Crustaceans are species on their own? Technically it's an arachnid since it belongs to the same family. I'm about to say, um, uh, a crustacean is a freaking... You know mother... Yeah, they are. Hey, what did they classify tomatoes as being again? Did they say it was a fruit? It's a fruit! Really? Yes. Yeah, it looks more vegetable-like to me. No, it's a fruit. Or is it a vegetable? I'm all. pretty sure tomatoes are fruits. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> this Team Rocket Grunt knows how to fight! Oh, please, he is pathetic! He used a heavy move. That did a considerable amount of damage, and wow. in order to get even more hits in, he goes with quick attack. A little over 25% of your health. Stop yeah, that, you little! In a Nuzlocke run, any damage is done. What? I hate Buffy. I hate him. It's okay. If you don't get your hand off. Then what are you gonna do against Whitney? Are you just gonna train Sally up to level 40? Whitney Houston. Would you really go that far? Houston yes, I would, because you know I hate that girl. Kaylin! Texas yeah. Cords! I'm doing stuff! Texas Sanders. I'm grieving. We're about to kick zombie ass, take zombie names, make a movie, eat a bagel, and kick ass while I'm doing it. Let's go, bro. Um, Another a Paris. thing to note about the Pokemon Paris. Hilton. Um, it's evolution. Parasect. You know how its eyes look like it's zombified? That's because the mushroom on its back is actually controlling it now. The Paris you once knew is actually dead. Yay! Wow, I didn't think anything ever died in Nintendo games. I thought they were just defeated. Or respawn somewhere. Okay, they have a graveyard for Pokemon in the Pokemon games. Yeah, it's in this one. In this one you get you get to Wow, Pokemon actually died? Dude, you do you know do you know what sure. Lavender Town did to some kids? No. It caused like nationwide suicide in Japan. Because of the how messed up the the track was. Wait, what? Y you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't know. Tell me. I'll have to show you some other time. Well, how about this? I'm staying over, so it doesn't really matter. You can show me later. <laughs> okay. Ah! Did you just hit yourself in the crotch again? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> And now you see the true extent of CJ's power. He makes very pro provocative noises in front of two other men. I don't know what I'm Oh god. I love you, Whiskers. Here's a weird revive. Is somebody else hot? I think that's gonna be in use. Well, I don't complain about the heat. I think you're a joke. I think you're no, a I think this is pain induced. Quick attack. Supersonic using mofo! Oh god, okay. Sure, I have that person berry, but whiskers? Whiskers? Okay, Damn I'm, it. okay, I'm good, I'm back, I'm back. See, my voice is even back to normal. Uh-uh! No! Everybody I'm, supersonic racing. I'm all for- I'm all for one of believing in your Pokemon's abilities to overcome confusion. I believe in you! But in Nuzlocke runs, that ain't gonna happen. That I don't shit ain't happening! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you know I'll let you know. Fury attack. Make it die. It's kind of effective. It's dead. Excellent job, Wasp. Wow, that's such a creative name. Go fuck yourself. I mean, Wasp sounds cool and everything. It blows. Blows hard. Oh, at least the rat's mouth's open. 
Yep, yep, yep. So ha, so ha. It's for nine right here. Yeah, another moonstone. Like I said, I got the hurry up and buy treatment from a bunch of Indians a while ago. It really hurt me. I was the only one. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both monsters. Oh my nuts! Okay, if they're your fossils, I won't take them. Then just move them out of my way so I can get out of here. Super hey, Grimer! Super now, Grimer's a really cool Pokemon. I like Grimer a lot. Uh, super nerd ADL. <laughs> so much pain. If I had Ember Buds, you wouldn't talk so much crap. <laughs> if you had Dragon Breath, I don't think anyone would talk much crap. Ow. No, I do have Dragon Breath. Or at least I know someone who does. Hey, if you had a, hey, if you could have one, any pet you wanted, what would it be? Um, a chinchilla. If I could have any pet I wanted, it'd probably be a six foot blue haired cat girl. Make her six foot seven. That's not a pet. That is a person that you're keeping as a slave. Nope, it's a cat. She's a cat. So I want it. I want a cat girl. With blue hair. I freaking hate this attack! And only Joey, what the hell do you want at this time? And just so my parents oh my God! God! And just so my parents wouldn't freak out, I'd have patches of, you know, fur covering up the naughty bits. At least partially. But she wouldn't, but I would not allow her to wear clothes, because that takes away from the feline authenticity. And no one cannot be a boy cat person, because that would just be messed up cat girl. I'm not taking chances. What do I look like? Yeah, oh, frick. Hitler. No. Whiskers, get back here. Lost! Hitler. You know, you chase a guy, Leonardo or somebody. You know, somebody who can really handle this job. And get them hit by a boosted thunder shock or something like that? Yes. Say, they don't know anything at this level. What is this thing? Besides, Wasp needs the experience points as well. You and Leonardo and Avion are both at level 18. This is really aggressive slowly. Scream! Voices sing over and over. Well, whatever it works for you. Fury attack. One hit. It was a crit. A useless crit at that. I got this. I caught that meow and I named him Skat Man. That was He's pretty a cool. Where did he take a fossil? No being greedy. You're the prick who poisoned my whiskers! Hey, um, Give me one good reason why I shouldn't boot you in the face and break your fossil! Um, question. You ever plan on getting any cool Pokemon? Leonardo's cool. Hornet's cool. I mean, Wasp is cool. Avion's cool! Whiskers is awesome! You have a rat? Strudler might be awesome. I don't know how good she may be. You have a rat, a bug with a stupid name, you have a slightly upgraded turtle. Okay, this is the dome fossil. You take it and take it to Cinnabar Island later in the game, you can the get yourself a, a Kabuto. This is the Helix fossil. The one Sweet Bitter Darkness took like an idiot. Yes, I'm calling you stupid. Nobody likes Omanite or Omastar! Kabuto is where it's at! He just went on your family! He all up in your grill, man! What you gonna do about that? Get his ass, Craig! I'm sorry. Alright then, this fossil is mine. Good, now go jump off a cliff. And he just did the nerd voice! He coming at you, man! We all day over here, man! Sorry to sound black. Geodude, I hate you for the rest of my life. Worse than Farfetch? If I find a far fetch on this Nuzlocke run, I'm not catching it. I will just faint it, and that'll be the route where I never, where I don't catch anything. And now you are out of Mount Moon and on Route Four. Move. Ow. And once again, you can catch more Pokemon here. These two, they're like competing brothers. The guy on the left will teach a Pokemon of yours Mega Punch. He will teach Mega Kick. I'm not going to get wow, either. Wow, that's very very. Like, nice variety here. Why do I have a Mega Punch or a Kick? Okay, the Pokemon you can find on this route are Rattata, Sparrow, 
So do they have Mega Shot? Um, or Mega Slap? Ekans if you're playing Fire Red. Same true if you're playing Leaf Green like me. And Mankey! Do they have Mega Fuck? I mean, for all we know, they have Mega Aids too. All the f oh, why? I'm talking about how you have Mega Punch, Mega Kick, Mega. Okay, um, now, if you have any business to attend to in Pure City or at any point at the start of the game, do not jump off this ledge. It is a point of no return. You are not going back to these places for quite a while. But with that said, whee! Mega Shank. No. Welcome to Cerulean City. Also known as Dumbly Named Place Number 5. What? This place is a retarded name, Cerulean. That's the... Is that um, a color? It's a color. It's the, um... I'm trying to think of which language uses it. I think it's the French. Of course, a dumb. Oh, I'm not gonna finish. I think it's the French, the French word for blue, because you know, um, for Spanish it's azul. Yeah, but guess what? No one cares. It, it's the French. Yeah. Okay, well, let's find this Pokemon and we'll call it an episode. I suppose next you're gonna be talking about the Chinese. Okay, it's a Rattata. That doesn't count because. Or the Jews. I have whiskers. How dare you! Actually, those were. I, I don't want to say any other races because I crack on other races way too much. Sand Shrew! Dude, you were in my ear. Who cares? I found a Sand Shrew. Yay! Tackle. Or, or they could be Dutch. Don't care about that either. Why would you bring the Dutch up? <laughs> the Dutch from Dutchland. And by the way, is Denmark even really considered a like city or anything? Like, I don't know what Denmark is. I mean, I know no one cares about it, but like. Like, we could just drop a bomb on that place and no one would miss it. Like, it wouldn't even get a blip on the world's radar. Kinda like Canada. Granted, a lot of sexy-ass girls came from Canada, but seriously, who really cares? Sandshrew, the mouse Pokémon. Oh, Burrows right. deep underground in arid locations far from water. Another it only rat. emerges to hunt for prey. Another rat. Give a nickname to this captured Sandshrew? Hell yeah! Sand in your eyes. And she's a girl. I will name you... Oh god, he has a group of girl Pokemon. He's gonna rape him. Sandra. I oh! Know. I'd rather that is name. hilarious! No, it's actually Sandra. not. It's not intended to be that way. <laughs> I was even, I was kind of, I was thinking between Sarah and Sandra. This guy is amazing. Oh, fucking hilarious. Dude, you deserve a Golden Globe nomination. I swear to god, I'm gonna nominate your black ass, I swear. Dude, that is amazing. Okay, sweet bit of darkness. You may have Primate, but I got Sandshrew! And he has Adrian. And I got this guy! Hells yeah! That was a high five in case you can't hear. Now what? I got Sandshrew! I don't even need Mankey anymore! On your life! Well, I still wish I had Mankey, but... Oh, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to like that. Kaylin, look! Jolly nature! It's perfect! Hey, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and then, okay, okay, guys, I'm gonna call it an episode. Hey, hey, before we when go, we come back, we go, we're gonna take care of everything there is to take care of in Cerulean City. And um, Sandra and Strudel are, are gonna be trained up. Oh, I have a question. I have a question before we go. What? How do Pokemon have sex? We don't know. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's not a good enough quite answer for me. I need to know. It's 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 bothering my heart and soul. How do, how do they do it? I'm serious, we don't know, okay? I'm about to write whoever makes this crap, I'm gonna ask him. You are not gonna, you're not gonna write they do it. Satoshi-sama about that. I am going to write that I wanna- Saturday, June 4th, 2011. After a quick rest at the Pokemon Center, we set out for Mount Moon. I had heard from a lass in Pure to see that Clefairy live in Mount Moon, so I wanted to at least meet one. I was determined to catch a Zubat. But on the way inside, I tripped over a Geodude causing her to be my first encounter. I caught the overly relaxed rock and named her Trollin. Mount Moon was a lot larger than I expected, packed with awesome items and plenty of trainers to train against. Those guys who called themselves Team Rocket didn't really sit well with me. Despite that, I still think their uniforms are cool. Towards the end of the mountain, I ended up battling a super nerd for a fossil I really didn't want in the first place. Ugh, people. 
No, I'm really beginning to think that there's some disembodied entity that's just laughing at me somewhere. Eh, that's kind of odd. The last stretch to Cerulean City was quite peaceful. Before entering the city, I took note on the patch of tall grass close to the mountain. We, were, we rested at the Pokemon Center and went back to Route 4. We encountered a sand shrew, and with Whiskers' help, added her to the team. She's quite jolly, and I have named her Sandra. I rather like that name. I think I'll meet Bill before I take on the gym. Who knows? It might help me out in the long run. <laughs>